Hey folks, nothing new to report this evening. Heather and I worked on this most of the day, got this going. We had to work at this garden and clean this up. We didn't really plant any garden at all this year. We're, gonna, we're going to concentrate on that building, get Heather's greenhouse going. Um, yeah, I uh, got this going here. This thing runs good, so I hooked on the uh, harrows drug them around and smooth the front out a little bit went at this a little wee bit here and i'll show you what else we're going to do here so they're calling for rain for the next three or four days so heather and i didn't get this raft up what we're going to do is we're going to build probably two or three more during the rain under here it'll be nice i put the cover on there some of you folks are asking so i put the cover back on there and i'm telling you it's dusty with that on there i have to build a roller like this one here i have to build one there because that's kind of like a just kind of pinches it and a lot of that a lot of that uh sawdust just hits there and swirls all around and it's pretty brutal anyway i brought this in here too this side by side here because this old box here is it's too short and uh wow it's dark in here hope it's not this dark on camera sometimes it looks darker on here than it really is and as I brought this in here, because I want to eventually build a real box for this, something that we can haul some stuff around, because this thing is very capable of it. So while I was at it, I brought in some of the steel I had here. I have a whole bunch of this. So that's going to be the frame for the new dump box for that. And I want to build that, I want to build a decent sized dump box that the tailgate hinges at the top or the bottom. So when we start working around the basement, I eventually want to dig out around the basement maybe this year because we're going to extend that house this way next few years. I want to build that bigger, that house, but I want to dig all around the basement and I want to check out the foundation, make sure it's all good there. And I want to run another drain pipe out for Heather's washing machine. So when we put the washing machine in the house, it's under that tarp over there. But, um, I have her talked into bringing it in the house now. We'll set it in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we'll do a drain around there. So when I dig it up, I like to be able to haul all that old soil with this, since it's got a dump box on it, it's hydraulic. I'd like to be able to haul it and dump it over the hill and replace it all with nice gravel. Now that's the cylinder on it. It's a lot strong enough, but if I had to, I could put a longer, stronger sil uh, cylinder on it and I could really beef up that, that pipe that's run across there. I could put a really good uh, square tubing or something on that. And uh, this is leaf spring, it's not coil spring. So this has got a really, it's got a decent little frame under it. I mean, it's not, it's not super huge, but I don't see me bending it either if I support it properly. I mean, I've had half tons with, uh, well, I wouldn't say half, I had quarter tons with, uh, you know, a little heavier frame than that and I used to haul pretty good wood in it pretty good loads so anyways that's what this is doing in here right now that's why it's in here it's going to pour down rain they say for the next three days so I put my little welder in here my plasma cutter little compressor although I have my big compressor but so we are going to work at this we're going to build a few more rafters. We didn't put this up. We had to do some other stuff today. Actually, it was, it was dump day today, so we hauled two trailer loads, just stuff we cleaned up around the yard, like, uh, you know, bits of wood, uh, plastic, some boxes, you know, just stuff like that. We had thrown in a bin that we cleaned up, and we, we usually wait till we get a load or so, and then we take it all at once. So we took two trailer loads today up to our local, local dump. It's open on a Saturday. So we have those and over there to build more rafters so we could build all four rafters and just leave them right here and then when it stops raining we can put up all those four rafters boom right away i brought some spare blades here as well so i can sharpen those and get them ready they're under the roof here well part of it some of it's out in the open i guess yeah because the tin ends this line right here that's where the roofing metal ends Boom, pretty much right there. Pretty much that big, yeah, that big dark line right there where that where that uh, potato fork is hanging. Yeah. So that's that's what I plan on doing with this, is doing some work 
uh, on this and build in some more rafters. Hopefully the rain don't last long, but they say three or four days. But the forest fires, they're still going, but I don't think they're as bad. I don't smell the smoke as much anymore. We need this rain, so I'm happy for that. Yeah, so hopefully that uh, cuts down on the forest fire possibilities. But this, we really like this for going and hauling our logs out. I do have a head gasket or head problem, but I knew that when I first got it because when I went and looked at it, they don't usually strap the overflow cap on for no reason. So I know it's getting pressure from either the head or the head gasket, but that's okay, I can fix that. Hey, I've changed one before. In about an hour, I've had the old, pull the old head off, clean her up, put a new one on it, and they're ready to go. I've done that in small tractors, mini excavators. Excavator, yes, there's no S in it. They're not called excavators. I hear people calling them excavators. There's no S in excavators. E-X-C-A-V-A-T-O-R-S. Excavators, not excavators. I hear people call them excavators. They add an S in there that's not there. But that's neither here nor there. I pronounce some stuff there. It's kind of dumb too. So anyways. Yeah, so I really like this whole thing. So does Heather. I want to eventually build that. I want to extend the roof up a little higher. It's too short right now. But that's later on down the road. But for now, we're getting stuff in here ready so that if it pours down rain for two or three days, we can still work. So if it rains for two or three days, it takes us, it takes us a little while to cut and build a rafter. So we could probably build three in a day. So if we can build three more. One, two, let me see. We have one, two, yeah, we have enough material out there for three more rafters. So that'll be four in total. That's not too bad. So we'll be all set up. Hey, still got the license plates up there. They look good. They're not going nowhere. I like it. And that's the time. 7.30. And that's how cool it is out here. Look at that. Some of you folks in the warmer places might find that a little cool. <laughs> it is under, it's under 60. Yeah. It's, it's uh, jacket time for me. I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my uh, jean jacket out here. So I find it just a little on the cool side. But anyways, when it rains, I'm going to bring you out and I'm going to show you what it's like out here working under this roof. Now I may get a little bit of rain blowing in here through this opening because if I come out here, there's really nothing up there right now, but it's still, I'll be under a roof. If I have to, I'll hang a tarp here so it don't blow through. I don't mind to have that, but yeah. So we're getting our stuff all set up so we can start to build more rafters if it rains so we have stuff to do. We've been splitting our firewood as well. So we're getting a pile there. We want to start piling it in the basement very shortly. But anyways, this, this is going to be a short little video, folks. I am getting another track here for the barn door I want to build. I got another one here. So that's good. Because I want to put a barn door right there on that opening. Right there. Boom. Yeah. Heather and I were talking about that. It'd be nice. And I eventually want to go and I want to build another guard for the left hand side. Just so if we want to step out in front of there, we can. So it's not too bad. It's not a safe practice to get into. But we may do that. Not sure. I might put a guard on there and yeah, close her up. Okay, folks. Well, not much more to say than that other than I am looking forward to the rain. I want to see how well this does in here. I want to see what's going to get wet in here and what's going to stay dry. It's going to be really interesting because Heather and I, we can build another rafter in here. We don't have to go right to the end. We can pull this rafter down that way further. So we are all completely under this roof. Like we don't, I mean, I might have to step out there and wiggle it a bit, but it'd be interesting to see how dry we stay under here working i want to see what it's like to mill see how good it is and i was looking i think i'm going to cut the mill too right off here i'm going to remove that much because the chances of me milling logs that long 26 feet chance of me milling a 26 foot log is pretty slim 
For one thing, I have no way to haul it out of here to get it to the mill. And number two, I'm not interested in handling big stuff like that. I don't see me ever having to. And a 20, 26 foot log is not that strong. I would rather build my own beam and laminate it so it's stronger. Somebody asked us how our vegetables garden is doing. We didn't really plant anything. Heather had a few things in there, but uh, we're so busy that we're not even gonna bother with that. We're just gonna mow the garden over and just leave it. You know, until we get the greenhouse going, we're just gonna keep concentrating on this. So we did some did some stuff around here today. Went to the dump, took some garbage there, did a bunch of work around here, and then, then uh, yeah, we had to, had a friend show up, visited for a little while. And then we went back and we scouted out. We found some more dead trees to harvest. Cut a bit of a trail into them. So that's what we did. I didn't show you that, but then I figured, well, it's going to rain, so I better get some work lined up here. So, Anyways, that's it for this evening, folks. We will talk at you for sure tomorrow. You folks have a, a great day, and uh, I, I'm pretty anxious to see what this is going to be like in here when the rain hits. I'm hoping it is really nice in here to work. Anyways, you folks have a great day. Bye-bye, all.